Hi everyone. This is the second part of the topic related rates and parametric curves. In this lecture, we will discuss some example related to this topic. Let us discuss an example. Suppose that x and y are functions of time and that xy, the point xy moves on the circle x square plus y square equal to 1. That is a unicircle. If x is increasing at 1 centimeter per second, what is the rate of change of y when x is equal to 1 by root 2 and y equal to 1 by root 2? So here we are given that the point x comma y moves along the circle x square plus y square equal to 1. That is, it is a relation connecting the variables x and y and we are given that x and y are functions of the time t. Then we are given that x is increasing at a rate of 1 centimeter per second. That is uh, given dx by dt is equal to 1 centimeter per second. Now we have to find the rate of change of y when x equal to 1 by root 2 and y equal to 1 by root 2. That is we have to find dy by dt. This is we need to find. So we have x square plus y square equal to 1. Differentiating this with respect to t. Differentiating this with respect to t we get 2x dx by dt plus 2y dy by dt because x and y are functions of t. This is equal to 0. And we are given that dx by dt equal to 1 centimeter per second. And we have to find dy by dt when x equal to 1 by root 2 and y equal to 1 by root 2. So applying this x equal to 1 by root 2, y equal to 1 by root 2 and dx by dt equal to 1 centimeter per second. We have 2 into 1 into dx by dt is 1, uh, x is 1 by root 2, 2 into 1 by root 2 into dx by dt is 1 plus 2, y is 1 by root 2 into dy by dt is equal to 0. That means we have, uh, we can divide uh, this 2 by root 2, therefore we get 1 plus dy by dt equal to 0 that is dy by dt is equal to minus 1 centimeter per second. Next another example a light L is being raised up a pole the light shines on the object Q we have an object Q here so this is the light light shines on this object uh, casting a shadow on the ground. So we have the shadow of this uh, object is this. This is the shadow of the object by this light. So at a certain moment the light is for 40 meters of the ground. So uh, uh, at a certain moment we are given that light is 40 meters of the ground rising at 5 meter per minute. How fast is the shadow shrinking at that instant? So, we are given that at a certain moment the light is 40 meter off that is the height of this light is at 40 meters at that moment and rising at a 5 meters per minute that is the derivative with respect to time is 5 meter per minute. Now, how fast is the shadow shrinking at that instant? So, if you are taking y be the height of the uh, light, let y be the height of the light and t be the time and the length of the shadow be x. So this length is x. So if you are taking that uh, values then we are given that uh, at a certain moment that is in this moment uh, at this moment we are given that y equal to 40. y equal to 40 and dy by dt equal to 5 that is uh, y rising at 5 meters per second that is we are given. So dy by dt equal to 5. Now we have to find how fast is the shadow stringing at that instant that is we have to find dx by dt this is what is we need to find so by similar triangles that is if we are taking these two triangles one triangle is this and the second triangle is this okay so from these similar triangles that is we have the triangles uh, one is this and the second one is bigger one so this is x and this is 10 meter we are given that this is uh, object is of 10 meters uh, height and this length will be x plus 20 meters. So this is x plus 20. 
Th these uh, quantities are we, we are given in this figure, and this is y. Okay, so we know these two are similar, similar triangles. So uh, we get x by 10 is equal to x plus 20 divided by y. X by 10 is equal to x plus 20 divided by y. That means uh, x y is equal to 10 into x plus 20. So we have to find dx by dt at uh, d when dy by dt equal to 5 and y equal to 40. Okay. So differentiating this with respect to t, we have applying product rule here x into dy by dt plus y into dx by dt equal to 10 into derivative of x is dx by dt plus derivative of 20 is 0. So here we need to find the value of dx by dt. So for that we need uh, the value of y dy by dt and x. But we have uh, y equal to 40 and dy by dt equal to 5. But we don't have uh, the value of x. So for that we can replace the value of y in this equation. So in this equation, if number 1, 1 implies we have uh, x into y, y equal to 40, that is x into 40 is equal to 10 into x into 20, 10 into x into 20. That means 40x is equal to 10x plus uh, 200, that is 30x is equal to 200, that is x is equal to 200 divided by 30, that is 20 divided by 3. So x equal to 20 divided by 3. So now we have x the value of x, value of y and value of dy by dt. So from this we get the value of dx by dt that is we need to find. So uh, so from this equation number 2 we have x into dy by dt that is x is 20 by 3 into dy by dt is 5 plus y equal to 40 into dx by dt equal to 10 into dx by dt. So from this we can solve for dx by dt that is dx by dt equal to from this 10 dx by dt minus 40 dx by dt that is uh, here we have 30 dx by dt is equal to 20 into 5 divided by 3 that is uh, 100 divided by 3 that is minus 100 divided by 3. So for dx by dt is equal to minus 100 divided by 90 that is minus 10 by 9. Thus, therefore, uh, we have dx by dt equal to minus 10 by 9, that is the shadow or is shrinking at 10 by 9 meters per minute. Because we have negative here, therefore, uh, the shadow is shrinking. Next, we have another example. A spherical balloon is being blown up by a child. Suppose we have a spherical balloon. At a certain instant, at a certain instant during inflation, air enters to the balloon. Air enters to the balloon. To make the volume increase at a rate of uh, 50 cubic centimeters a second. That is at a given instant we are given that dA by dt that is rate of increase of the uh, volume dV by dt is 50 centimeter cube per second. At the same instant the balloon has a radius of 10 centimeters that is r is equal to 10 centimeters at the same instant. How fast is the radius uh, changing with time? So that is, we have to find dr by dt. Okay. So, we know, uh, suppose we have a balloon here with some radius r. So, if you are uh, applying air into this balloon, the volume will be increasing. Also, uh, at the same time, the radius also increasing. Right. That means, we know volume is a uh, function of the radius and radius is also a radius and volume are functions of time t. So let the radius of the balloon be denoted by r and the volume be by v. Then we have the uh, volume of the balloon that is we know this is spherical balloon. So uh, the shape of that balloon is a sphere. So we have the uh, equation of the volume of a sphere is v equal to 4 by 3 in the pi r cube. So here we are given that dv by dt equal to 50 centimeter cube per second and dr by dt we need to find we are also given that r equal to 10 centimeter at a, at a, at a certain instant. So differentiating this we, we know v is a function of t and r is also a function of t. So uh, differentiating with respect to t we have dv by dt is equal to 4 by 3 into pi into 
3 r square into dr by dt that is dv by dt is equal to 4 by 3 into pi is a constant so differentiating r cube with, with respect to t we have 3 r square into dr by dt that is we have 4 pi r square into dr by dt now we are given that uh, at, at a given instant we are given that dv by dt equal to 50 and r equal to 10 we have to find dr by dt that, that is the rate of change of uh, radius with respect to time that is we need to find so we can replace dv by dt the value of dv by dt and r here so we have dv by dt equal to 50 equal to 4 pi into r square is 10 square into dr by dt so from this we can solve for dr by dt that is dr by dt is equal to 50 by uh, 10 square into 100 4 that is uh, 4 into 100 is 400 pi that is 1 by 8 pi it is approximately equal to 0 0.04 centimeters per second it is the unit of dr by dt so the radius is changing at a rate of 0 0.04 centimeters per second